salt does not spoil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome for the meditation of January the 1st, 2024, taken from Mark chapter 9, verse 42 and following. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he drowned in the sea. If your hand causes if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Lest you be thrown into hell where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Everyone will be seasoned with fire, and every sacrifice will be seasoned with salt. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. Some stupid people like to say that we should be like salt because we are going to season, to give flavor to something. But they totally miss the mark because in the time of God, the Christ among us, while he was living among his apostles, salt was used to deter the spoil on foot because they didn't have any refrigeration or any other means. So the image of salt is precisely not to be spoiled. Thus, it is so easy to see those who, even though they might have crosses and speak about God and talk about Jesus and do whatever they want, if they cause the little ones to stumble, they are not from God. Think about the pedophiles, or those who abuse youngsters or innocent and uh, unaware women or men be whatever they might call themselves or whatever the institution that they work for might call them. If they do that, they are not gods. Think about those who harm others, whether those are teachers or theologians or whatever it is that they call themselves, or priests. Anyone that abuses another one and makes him to stumble is not from God. You cannot live in a bad way or behave in a bad way and still think or proclaim that you are serving God. We are called not only to be good, but we are called to be holy, not spoiled. And if you live like that, or if you follow the teachings of such people, do not fool yourself thinking that you will end up in heaven. You will end up in the place where the fire does not quench and the worm does not die for eternal condemnation and pain and suffering. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.